I've seen all types of crypto scams. Not to mention all the crypto scam comments. I mean, if you've been around, you've definitely seen these types of comments before. I assumed it was just a bot like posting all over everybody's channel, but little did I know, it was way more targeted than I thought. And I wasn't giving these scammers enough credit. These bots are actually updated and are changing and pretty much evolving with crypto. It's like actually scary. They are finessing the system way more than I ever thought. They are essentially using the algorithm in their favor. Check out this video real quick. This is another crypto YouTuber, Jerry Banfield. I'll have his link down below. This is like actually creepy and scary. And I assume over time, these bots are just going to keep getting smarter and smarter because behind the dumb bots are actually people with brains. Nowadays, we pretty much all know the difference between a scam comment and a real comment. But what happens when it just fully goes out of control? What if they use AI for the comments in the future? Like where they can have randomized comments and stuff that make people believe that it's definitely a real person in it. But anyways, let's watch this because uh, Jerry says some like crazy shit. I w was getting a lot more views. If you look back on my channel at the beginning of the year, when I was just hyping up all these altcoins and I don't feel I was being honest for this part of my channel. I was just doing whatever it took to get views. Then uh, these bots... It looks like certain cryptos have bots that push hype videos on that crypto. And it looks like the bots were pushing my channel really hard. Look at that. It literally went down a straight slope. It's like the algorithm for the bots were helping him out. And then once he switched up on them, he's like, I'm not talking about these dumb scam coins anymore. The bots, like the system actually like recognized that and like turned on them. So it's like... The scammers that are creating the bots, are they also watching these crypto YouTubers like really close? I, d I don't know, man. I'm not going to sit here and speculate, but this is definitely something to keep an eye on. Keep listening. And then when I started saying a bunch of these altcoins sucked, whoever uses the bots mass reported my channel and got it taken down. But thankfully, after that happens once, that same. So it's like when you go against them, that's when they'll take you down. I don't know, man. It's something that, uh, Definitely words me in this space, especially because YouTube just they don't care. They literally do not care. Like they could probably just wipe crypto YouTube off the market and they, they could care less, man. Like YouTube has so much other genres like they're more worried about Mr. Beast. The trick is not going to work again. And uh, the value of me being honest on my channel is that I'm mostly telling people, hey, most all these altcoins suck. Some people say I'm too negative. I could make way, way, way more money just by being super positive and saying anything to get you to watch and to get those bots to push my videos. And that's why the system legitimately creates like fraud YouTubers and stuff. YouTubers sharing these shit coins. YouTubers just wanting to make money from this system because the bots only work with YouTubers that share the narrative they're trying to push, which is meme shit coins. And me personally, in this bear market, all I'm really focused on is the bigger caps like Solana, Cardano, Ethereum, XRP, Chainlink. I mean, obviously, Chainlink's my number one. I should have said that before all them other. And it's just a shame because last cycle, I would get emails after emails after comments after comments of just people telling me their sad stories about literally getting their MetaMask just completely wiped. And at the end of the day, these bots have people behind them. And these people just keep getting smarter and they're finding newer ways to finesse people. So the next cycle, there's just going to be a million new ways. I'm going to do what it takes to inform the public. And that's kind of why I like uploading videos like this. Because last cycle, I got scammed for 2000 bucks, and it did not feel good. That is all I got to say.